In this video, we are discussing Cartesian product overview. Cartesian product is one operation with the help of which we can find out all possible combinations of the records between two data sets. So, let us discuss more about this topic. So, what is Cartesian product? The Cartesian product is a set operation where every element of a set joins with every record of another set. So, one element of this particular set, one record of this particular set will be doing the joining with the rest all records from the other set and that will be true for all the elements in this set. So, that is our Cartesian product. So, it is also done for data sets and this process is very costly and it takes a long time to complete the task. When we want all pair combinations, then we have to perform the Cartesian product operations. So, whenever you are trying to get the combinations of all records between two data sets, then the Cartesian product is the only one operation to be carried out. The Cartesian product is determined during the job setup and after completing the calculation, each record reader is responsible for generating the cost product from both the splits. So, at the initial setup, we must be knowing that we are going for the Cartesian product and after completing the calculation, each record reader, so here we are having the record reader which is responsible for the generation of the final outcome. So, it is map only job. So, no combiner, no reducer or partitioner will be involved here. So, I think now this diagram will clear our conception. So, here we are having the data set A. It is having only two splits. So, that is about input split A1, input split A1, input split A1. So, three times it has occurred because the data set B is having three splits. So, that is why here we are having for input split A1, we are having all the input split for B. Then for input split A2, we are having all the input splits for B. So, what we are getting? We are getting the combination A1, B1, A1, B2, A1, B3. Similarly, we are having A2, B1, A2, B2 and A2, B3. So, in this way, you see at first, the data sets are to be arranged in this way. So, let me repeat one second. This data set A is having two splits and they are input split A1 and input split A2. Here we are having data set B which is having three splits. So, they are nothing but input split B1, B2 and B3. So, if I want to get the combination of all possible combinations, then I shall be having six such combinations. So, in this way we are having six such combinations are there. Then we are having this record reader. This record reader is taking the respective splits from two data sets in this way. We have shown that one in the diagram. Then it is having only the mappers, no combiners, no reducers, no partitioners. So, here we are having this identity mappers and this mappers will be taking the input from the record reader and that will produce the final output part. So, this is the basic concept of this condition product design pattern. So, let us go for some more discussions in the next video. Please watch that one because that video is in the continuation of this concept. Thanks for watching this.